everyone welcome back to spectrum glasses in this video we are going to discuss about the soaps and detergents which is a very important topic and interesting too so here in this video the points which we are going to discuss are what is called soap and what is called detergent the second one is structure and reactions involved in the chemical properties of soap and detergents the next is preparation of soap in the laboratory that is a lab activity video and next is difference between the soaps and detergents and the last important point is cleansing action of soap and detergents that is formation of micelles and this micelles is a very very important topic for the researchers and the project students which are working on in the field of nanochemistry or nanoscience so let's start with the video here what is called soap soaps are the sodium or potassium salts of higher fatty acids sodium and potassium you very well know now the question comes what is called fatty acids fatty acids are triglycerides basically that we are going to discuss in the next slide but before discuss about the fatty acids let us have a brief overview about the fats and oils oils are liquid and fats are semi solid and they contain fatty acids so fatty acids are of different types some are summarized here like stearic acid and the formula of the stearic acid is C17H35COOH palmitic acid this is C15H31COOH oleic acid C17H33COOH and linoleic acids C17H31COOH and these fatty acids on reaction with sodium hydroxide as well as potassium hydroxides form so this is the formula of fatty acids and here is the sodium salt so acid on reaction with base will gives us salts so here is the sodium stearate stearic acid stearate sodium palmitate sodium oleate and potassium linoleate here is the potassium salt right now one thing which i bring to your notice that the naturally occurring fat have generally even carbon numbers here you say these are the odd numbers no including this carbon they are 18 here i am showing the structure this can also be written in this form here this corner represents ch2 and here this end represents ch3 and here at the end of this long chain we are having one acid group coh if you see the number so here is the number series so up to 18 numbers we are having but here in this oleic acid if you see so here is one unsaturation okay so it is having one double bond and uh, the double bonds which are present in the naturally occurring fatty acids are forms a cis isomer of the naturally fatty acids. So this is about the fatty acids and their sodium salts are formed as sodium and potassium salts. Here I will show you the reactions involved in the formation of soap. Fats are having fatty acids. These fatty acids are present in the form of triglyceroids. Triglyceroids, this is a trick. Here are the three fingers. The terminals are having CH2 and the inside is having CH. So CH2 O C O R. So this is called triglyceroid. And this on reaction with three alkali molecules that is NaOH or KOH it reacts like this K goes this side and OH goes this side so we will get three molecules of this R C double bond O O N A and CH2 OH here this is called soap and this is called glycerol so soap and glycerol we get by the reaction of triglycerides which are present in the oil and fat on reaction with alkali and for each acidic group we require one molecule of alkali right in this process we are adding some NaCl solution or directly as a salt just to get the precipitation of this soap right and why we are adding this NaCl because on adding this NaCl here we are having the 
excess of sodium plus ion which increases the solubility product of the ions and this salt get precipitated because of the common ion effect of the NaCl. Here I am showing you the lab activity for the formation of soap. So let's start with the lab activity. First we are going to weigh NaOH. So 5 grams of NaOH at first I have taken to make the 20% NaOH solution. Here is 20 ml mustard oil. Now I transfer this mustard oil in a beaker of 500 ml capacity. So I'll just added the magnetic needle to this mustard oil and this is kept on the hot plate with magnetic stirrer and slowly slowly we are adding NaOH solution. Here you can see the reaction. Here you can see the reaction. You can see the temperature is 34. I have added the NaCl salt and after adding the NaCl, you can see the separation of layers. And after putting it for few hours at room temperature, Here you can see how it looks like. Now we are just removing the solution out of this. Now we are transferring it in the petri dish or you can transfer it in any of your mold. This is the cold process actually. Because we have done this at room temperature, so it is having glycerol inside it. And it seems like this. So this is how we can prepare the soap. And now I am going to discuss here the different processes for the soap formation. And we are having two different processes for the soap formation. And here I have written the scheme for the soap formation. So one is cold process, the other one is hot process. So which process we have followed here? So we have followed the cold process because we have taken the oil and fat so that is mustard oil we have taken and to that mustard oil I have added the alkali and on stirring we get soap plus glycerol whereas in case of hot process as the name suggests we have the same scheme but this oil and alkali solution is needed to be heat up with the help of steam. Here advantages of having hot process. In this process we can get the valuable glycerol by applying suitable processes but here in this case to separate out the glycerol is not easy first. And uh, the drawback of this hot process in this process soft uh, soaps can't be formed because they are soluble on heating. Now we are coming to the detergents. So detergents are having this kind of structure. You are very much aware about this structure. So here the corner suggests the CH2 and this end of this scheme is suggest CH3. And it is having sodium salt of sulfates. They, here we can define this. Detergents are the sulfonic acids or alkyl hydrogen sulfates of the long chain hydrocarbons. And they are used primarily for washing and cleaning purpose. It contains a carbon chain of length Ca2, C22 and these are synthetic. So here is its molecular formula. Now the name of this compound is sodium lauryl sulfate. Other example of sodium dodecyl benzene sulfonate. So here we are having benzene also. Cleaning action of the soaps and detergents. Soaps get dissociated in this form in the solution. Here is the long hydrocarbon chain and and here is the COOH group which is polar end of this soap COO minus and this is in association with sodium plus which is get dissociated in solution right. Long hydrocarbon chain is hydrophobic in nature whereas this COO minus terminal is hydrophilic in nature. So what is called hydrophobic and hydrophilic? Hydrophilic is water loving and hydrophobic is water hating. So this part of the molecule is attracted towards oil and grease whereas this 
water loving part is attracted towards the water molecule suppose we represents this molecule in this manner this is the polycan and this is the hydrocarbon chain then we are having its situation like this suppose these are the detergent molecules which are dispersed in the water and here is the oil and grease these molecules have arranged themselves towards this grease molecule because these are having two different ends so the part which is attracted towards this oil that will be coming towards this oil and the part which is poly that goes away from this oil drop right this is oil and grease so it can be work like this now some of you may have a question why this is in the spherical shape uh, actually there are several models which shows a different kind of shape but most appropriate shape which is most widely used is the this kind of shape and this is actually the cross sectional area of a road like molecule so if we cut down the road like molecule then it seems like this now the another point is that this is the dispersed phase and this water is the dispersion medium here and this is called oil in water and oil is the dispersion phase and water is the dispersion medium here these the hydrophobic and hydrophilic ends of the soap or the detergent molecules arrange themselves about this greasy part or oily part and since they are having different surface tensions therefore they try to minimize the surface tensions about this dispersed phase molecule so that is why it is in spherical shape to minimize the energy around this if we are having dispersion medium is oil and dispersed phase is water then this micelles will be rever reverse in order so these polymeric ends attracted towards the water molecule and the hydrocarbon chain which is hydrophobic in nature that is away from this water molecule so this is nearby the oil molecule is nearby the water molecule so it arrange itself and this is called reverse micelles now the properties of soap and detergents and their differences so with soft water these soaps react like this and they form steric acids or the acids to which they are formed and because of formation of this naturally occurring fatty acids they are biodegradable right whereas with hard water soaps form insoluble scum that is calcium and magnesium salts of fatty acids and these are insoluble soaps can't be used in the hard water whereas we can use detergents in the hard water because they do not form insoluble scum so here i have again repeated soaps are biodegradable why they are biodegradable because they form naturally occurring fatty acids with soft water and whereas detergents are synthetic and they are non biodegradable soaps form insoluble scum with hard water so they are not used in the hard water whereas detergents can be used in hard as well as saline water soaps causes irritation to the skin since soap undergoes slight hydrolysis so this can be shown by this equation so r c o o r r is the long hydrocarbon chain and this c o o minus is the poly end of the soap and this on reaction with water it it undergoes slight hydrolysis and forms acid and this free oh minus cause irritation to the skin so this is all about the soaps and detergents and if you like this video please subscribe my channel give me a thumbs up thank you all thanks for watching